Now joining us uh, is Michael Weiss. He's running in Nevada's uh, third district, and uh, uh, I'm particularly proud of Michael uh, because he is a member of the local Wolfpack chapter, and uh, and has been fighting to get money out of politics. And so great to see you guys uh, fighting all over the country and and actually uh, now running for seats. So uh, Michael, um, uh, let's let's talk about um, why you're running. So wh why run for office here uh, for Congress? Well, it has been a dream of mine since I was uh, young to at some point uh, run for public office. Um, but uh, I was particularly compelled um, as uh, as a result of the um, with the results of the 2016 election. Um, I was a precinct captain for Bernie Sanders. It was actually through the Young Turks that I learned a substantial amount about Bernie Sanders when the mainstream media was not covering him all that much. And so I was a precinct captain for him. And then I was a county delegate at the Clark County Convention. And then I was a delegate at the Nevada State Convention, which is a Several of your uh, viewers uh, know that was the uh, uh, where the infamous uh, chair throwing uh, rumor uh, got started. I can assure all of you out there that I was there. Uh, no chairs were thrown uh, at all. Uh, it was one of the most insane uh, days of my life. Um, and um, afterwards, um, you know, I was very disappointed that Bernie lost, but he opened up like a whole new world for me. I had known about, uh, you know, Various, you know, forms of corruption uh, in uh, in politics and various and, and the influence of money in politics, but nobody had like ever like shown a light on it uh, as much as he did. Nobody um, that I had ever known, you know, put it as you know clearly and concisely, and uh, you know also produced a, uh, a conveyed a message of hope. Uh, that there were ways to change this, that there were ways to change our political system. So he was a huge inspiration for me. And I met, you know, during the, his campaign, I met so many uh, fantastic people uh, here in uh, Las Vegas, which is my hometown. Um, and uh, after the 2016 uh, ele the presidential election, I was devastated. Um, you know, I, the, the outcome was not what I expected. Uh, I don't think it's what anybody uh, expected. And, um, you know, I started to, you know, think like, you know, a lot of like there was going to be a deterioration in um, social justice, economic justice, environmental justice uh, under um, under Trump. Um, and I just thought, you know, OK, maybe now's the time. You know, this is something, you know, that I you know wanted to do, you know, as a as a kid. And, you know, it was like, well, if if not now, when, if not me, who? Um, so District 3, which is where I'm running, uh, the incumbent, uh, Jackie Rosen, uh, decided uh, to run for Senate instead against uh, Dean Heller. Um, and uh, I decided, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You know, this will be my first time, you know, running for public office. Um, the rules that I think we thought were true about politics, um, I think a lot of that went out the window in 2016. Um, and I... I felt that, you know, I had, you know, values, you know, and, you know, a, a you know, belief system, you know, an ideology, an ideology that would be a benefit to the people of Nevada, you know, one that, you know, would preserve and expand economic justice, social justice, uh, environmental justice, and, you know, write, you know, things into policy, you know, that things that uh, Bernie had been advocating and progressives all over the country are, you know, promoting now uh, as well uh, for the good, for the good of the people. And, um, you know, I realized, you know, I had no connections uh, whatsoever to the establishment. Um, you know, like, uh, you know, most of the progressive candidates out there, I am not taking corporate money. I'm not taking super PAC money. I'm not taking PAC money. I'm not taking money from Pac-Man. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and so, you know, we're running a true, genuine grassroots uh, campaign. And hopefully, you know, hopefully, you know the progressive voices here in uh, in Southern Nevada, which is what C, uh, CD3 encompasses, have been getting louder and louder and louder. You know, you got uh, you know organizations uh, you know like Wolfpack, you know, established here. And uh, uh, by the way, if uh, Ryan Tipton and Robert Martinez are watching here, hey guys, um, <laughs> and uh, and um, and yeah. you know you got uh, our revolution here. 
Um, and uh, so there is, I think, you know, a beacon of hope, you know, here uh, in terms of, you know, getting progressive candidates um, into wa- to Washington. Um, yeah. And, um, you know, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens. Yeah, uh, but uh, things are looking good. So I like your attitude. Of why not me? Why not now? Uh, so you know, you think twice, twice, maybe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I may use I may use that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, there's something in the news that I know you care a lot about: uh, gun control. We all care a lot about it, uh, but. Um, you have a point of view on on how the Republicans are uh, uh, using mental health as an excuse that I thought the audience should know about. So, wh- what's your take on that, Michael? Well, if um, if I'm elected, um, I will be the first person in the United States to hold elected office uh, who is on the autism spectrum. Um, I have Asperger's syndrome. At, at minimum, I'll be the first one that has been open about it and honest about it. Um, and uh, so when I hear um, criticisms of you know, rather than, you know, focusing on the matter of, you know, gun control and blaming um, mass shootings, school shootings on uh, issues of mental health, I take personal offense to that because effectively what it does is that it demonizes uh, people like myself. You know, I've never had, you know, any sort of uh, you know, I've, I've never, you know, I've never, I've never hit anybody. I've never done anything violent uh, in my life. Um, but effectively, you know what uh, organizations like the NRA and so, you know to some extent the mainstream media do is that they you know perpetuate this myth that everybody who has a mental illness is dangerous. And um, related to that, um, when I hear um, you know uh, when I hear advocates. You know, of uh, you know, who, uh, who are against who are against gun control. You know, say it's a mental health problem. I say, okay, fine. Then uh, how about we invest some uh, res- some of our uh, monetary resources in treatment and uh, and uh, you know, providing resources to people you know who have mental health issues. Nevada, by the way, is last in the nation in terms of uh, quality, availability, and accessibility uh, to mental health services. Um, but you know, there is. Not been, you know, traditionally an interest, especially you know recently, um, in, with our government in terms of, uh, you know, making sure that people who have uh, mental health issues um, have have access to the treatment and resources that they need, um, and that's you know part of you know one of the big reasons that I'm for you know Medicare for all, which uh, HR six seven six will include um, coverage for uh, mental health, because then people who you know have you know these have these issues, you know, will not you know go. Uh, you know, have to worry about going bankrupt um, to get treatment and uh, will not have to, um, you know, worry about, you know, will they even have access to the coverage, to, to, to the treatment? Yep. So uh, Michael is hence a revolutionary candidate in a couple of different ways. And and he would uh, he would uh, set precedent. So that would be amazing. So one, one last thing for you, Michael. I, look, you're progressive. So as I look at your priorities, it's what we would expect, uh, you know, in favor of net neutrality, higher wages, college affordability, etc. Uh, but you know, I, I know you care deeply about money and politics. That's why you work for Wolfpack. Uh, there's an establishment candidate in the race. Um, why are you concerned about her in, in regards to that issue? What? Why? Why or what? Why? Like, what? What is it about her that that concerns you about that particular issue? Well. I am. Uh, I've. Uh, I remember there was something in this uh, in one of the debates that Hillary and did with Bernie, where Bernie and I, I just you know you know giggled you know when he's saying it, it's like you know well maybe you know big corporations you know just give the money away and they don't uh, and they don't you know expect anything in return they just have all this money and they give it away. Um, you know she has corporate donors you know like the majority. Of uh, candidates that have been uh, uh, handpicked uh, by the establishment, and you know, I I would question, you know, whether you know that uh, you know that certain uh, policies that she or any other you know candidate would be saying, you know, would uh, would actually come to fruition um, if they are taking money from corporations uh, that may not have the best interests uh, of the people in mind. Um, you know, she has, uh, I believe, talked some about you know uh, running on campaign finance reform, um, but I have not 
uh, at least uh, when I've uh, checked out uh, Open Secrets, uh, there's nothing to suggest, at least uh, for this election cycle, that uh, you know she is uh, you know running a grassroots campaign. And uh, you know I think that um, you know I I can't envision you know now in this world that you know anybody that is taking corporate money. Um, will necessarily work in the best interest of the American people because we have, you know, many corporations, you know, multinational corporations. We got, you know, super PACs set up that are have a stake in the status quo and are geared towards effectively, you know, crushing progressives, uh, however they can. And you know, they arm both, and we, you know, we know they arm both sides. Yep. You know? Yep. All right, Michael Weiss running in Nevada. I want everybody to check out the links here. Uh, Weissfornevada.com is the website. Uh, all the links, uh, guess where they're gonna be? They're gonna be in the description box down below on YouTube and, and on the com in the comment section on Facebook. Uh, Michael, thank you for joining us. Thank you for participating in democracy. Thank you for being part of Wolfpack. Go get them. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me, Jane.